What's up guys, YK44 back with you and today we're going to look at some Queen Charge Rocket Loon attack. This is the first time ever I'm trying this in my life and I'm going to break it down to you. Alright, so we're jumping in with our first attack. It's on a ring style base. Interesting. Now, if you know me, if you know the channel, you probably know that on ring style bases, I usually like to do a blimp ahead of my queen. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So, um, some balloons to look for, some black mines, no black mines, so I'm setting in the blimp. The blimp needs to take out the eagle artillery and the single inferno if possible. At least that's the target, right? So we rage up, it's a yeti blimp, that's what I'm carrying. And then I drop the healers on the queen. Queen somehow goes inside, was not part of the plan, but never mind, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Alright, now the queen is going to be able to take down the enemy king here. And then on the other side, slowly but surely, I'm going to start the King and World Champion Funnel. Uh, with the Grand Warden, of course, because these are rocket balloons, so you don't need your Grand Warden to be on air. These are just to snipe out exterior buildings. Notice how I freeze the enemy queen here, because she's a big threat to my queen. And I also start the World Champion here. Um, and then I'm just going to wait for the RC and the king to clear out those buildings here so the queen goes directly inside the core where the town hall is. I send another rocket loon here to look for black mines and the wall breaks are just looking amazing here on this base. So from here the queen can now take out the town hall and we hit the warden's ability along with the king's ability to protect all of the barbarians that are spawned, the royal champion as well and the king takes out some really good value. Royal Champ's ability just now goes off, King is still alive looking good, Queen took out the Town Hall and is stepping on the Giga Juice right now. But we're starting with the Rocket Loons and we're not waiting at all. As we see the, the defense is like uh, uh, thinning around. Finally raging up the Queen one more time and if you look at the base, yeah there's not much left and we have more rocket loon coming from the outside taking out more defenses so we can freeze the tesla farm with the scatter shot we rage up the rocket loon which we don't even need to so that's a swag rage swag freeze and i have one more swag freeze one more swag invis and the swag queen ability that is some insane swag here that i don't need but i use them because i can and we finally have the queen beating on the wall. That's her uh, goal in life. That's what she wants to be when she grows up. A wall breaker. And we finally use the invis as well to kind of make the skellies disappear. By the way, this is kind of that kind of a situation where you have a textbook kind of queen charge. Uh, and like everything goes to the plan because nothing went against the plan. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> a three star on your screen. Alright, we're jumping into a diamond cell base, guys. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video this far and if you enjoy my videos in general. But you know what I do in diamond style bases, right? Yeah, that's kind of the same thing we're going to do. Uh, usually I do this with Queen Charge Lalo, but here we're gonna do that with Queen Charge um, Rocket Loons. So yeah, we have the queen starting and the yeti to funnel a little bit for the king. We have the wall break dropped as well. Now, with the king, we're dropping the royal champion, the log launcher, the grand warden as well. And then I forgot to drop the healers on my queen. So at this point, my queen is too low and she's going to lose her ability. The rage was late as well. So yeah, we all mess up sometimes. That's just one of my messed up situations, messed up moments, all right? Then the king's ability goes off, the warden's ability follows, and it protects everything including the log launcher king, the barbarians, the world champion, and even my queen. We have a ice hound here that came out and the queen locked onto it. And we have the yetis coming out of the log launcher. The yetis take out the single inferno ahead of the queen. That's a, that's a pretty crucial thing. And then the king and royal champion are able to take out the multi on the other side of the base. That's incredible. That's really good. Amazing. So we rage up the queen one more time. She takes out this scatter shot. She can now walk into the town hall compartment from where she can reach the other scatter shot as well. So that's huge value. That's incredible, amazing stuff 
I mean, I have no words to explain the value that we have here. But we rage up the queen one more time. We invisible her as the tornado pulls her towards the town hall's Giga Juice. And we start with the rocket loons here, as you can see. We do have the enemy queen standing on our way, which is not good, but we have rocket loons surrounding all of the defenses from all sorts of angles of the base. And finally, we have the headhunters going for the enemy queen here. Freeze spell on the expo that we essentially don't really need. And again, freezing the expo. We don't need it because there's no defense on the base. And we finally have two more spells. Swag on the base. I, I did not imagine that this attack would be so strong. Goodness, I first saw Itsu using this attack. Then I saw some pro players using this attack. And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, um, let's just give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. And I'll post whatever it is to my audience for them to see how to use it and thankfully I'm being successful in the most case and <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I can share the results with you guys all right we're jumping into a box style base here now and you guys know I love to do the blog launch of ground warden uh, queen charge on box base with the king with the world champion and I'm gonna do the same thing here. So the Yeti is to funnel for the King. Queen is going in where she needs to go. And then the King, Real Champion, Log Launcher, and Grand Warden coming all inside together. Now the unfortunate part here is that the Real Champion has been locked onto by the enemy King. And I send the Headhunter a little bit late. So the RC's ability goes off and even she's gonna die. She honestly did not get any sort of value here. Now the Log Launcher is brilliantly taking out the core multi Inferno. Uh, the Super Minions somehow are locked on to, uh, onto the Yetis. And my Queen is walking, she's not going inside. So I wall break a little bit um, for the Queen to go inside this Gattashot compartment. All I'm praying for now is for the healers to not switch. I need the healers to be on my Queen if I even want a 1% chance to get the town hall and not fail otherwise it's gonna be a one star so that's why these kind of attacks are kind of a little bit risky and the queen locks on to the enemy um, super minions I sent two of my wall breaks for the queen to get access to the base and then I start sending in all of my rocket loons here freezing the town hall along with the single inferno raging up the queen one more time and then we really don't need any more spells here because all of the spells that I have remaining on the base here, yeah, those are all sort of swag spells. So, Rocket Loons coming from this direction, that direction, and even from the top side, top direction, every single possible uh, angle, I'm gonna send the Rocket Loons in. And then I'm also going to send the Headhunters in here, freeze up this Gattashot, and freeze up the Queen with the Cannon. So the Headhunters can take out the enemy Queen here. And finally, the last freeze drops on the Scattershot, the Rocket Loons take out the Scattershot all together, and we have the Queen's ability still swag, we can use it to help with time a little bit. But yeah, clean up all around the base, Rocket Loons also helping to clean up, Queen's ability goes off to take out the storage a little bit quicker. And finally, this is going to be another crushing 3-star. So yeah, that's pretty much how you take out these bases with Queen Charge Rocket Loon. If you want to watch my Queen Charge Lalo guide, go watch the video on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.